Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where we are very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Andre Borges, who is the Brazilian Secretary of Telecommunications. Mr. Borges, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. No, thank you for having me here. It's very nice to be here. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about smart digital innovation, which is the theme for this year's Telecom World. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you and what does it mean to Brazil? It means uh, uh, very much, actually, uh, because uh, Brazil is in the process of uh, transforming uh, uh, the entire society. So we have approved uh, a, a plan for transformation into digital society. Uh, and that means uh, uh, enabling uh, the digital technology to support uh, economy and support social life and support government as well. So it's like a foundation that uh, is, is transversal and it's going to influence uh, life uh, as a whole. <laughs> now Brazil is an enormous country. Yeah. How easy is that to put into practice? Uh, it's actually very difficult. It's uh, easier in some areas. Uh, Brazilian, uh, Brazil ha has many differences, so in some parts of society it's something quite easy to do and it's going to happen quite naturally. Uh, in other parts uh, it, it represents a huge challenge. And uh, with regard to my responsibility, my challenge is to bridge the digital divide and uh, uh, take uh, connectivity firstly to, to all geographies and then enable this connectivity to, to all citizens. And in terms of broadband, for example, how easy is it to implement the rollout of broadband to a very, like you say, a very wide ranging societies, both economically and, uh, and geographically? It's quite a challenge, uh, but once again, uh, for the attractive markets, and uh, we have many, uh, Brazil is a huge uh, economical uh, market, this happens quite naturally, uh, but uh, for the places uh, where uh, there's no return on investment, and then uh, it relies on uh, public policy, which means that you have to rely on budget. Uh, and uh, when a government is facing a financial crisis, as we are, it's very difficult to, to roll out uh, public policy. What are the principal technical regulatory and policy challenges that are facing you? Well, one of the challenges is rolling out the infrastructure. And uh, we, in Brazil, we have uh, three public entities, you know, the federal, state, and municipal. And uh, there's difficulty obtaining licensing from the municipalities to install the infrastructure. Uh, that's one of the challenges that we have to address. And then uh, the challenge is also, again, uh, going back to the budget uh, aspect of obtaining resources in order to connect 100% uh, of the municipalities. Uh, we are a country with uh, 5,570 uh, municipalities, uh, and, uh, but 80% uh, of our population lives in 300. So we really have to ca take care of the re uh, remainder of the population. I think that's one of the main aspects. Uh, when I mention connectivity, uh, I'm always referring to, to good quality broadband to enable uh, the user to, to make the best uh, use and benefit of the technology. Do you see any parallels in Africa uh, with, uh, in terms of the, the challenges and the opportunities? Oh, certainly, certainly. Many, many parallels. I mean, Africa has been a colony also. It also has, you know, this uh, a paradox uh, situation, uh, contrast uh, society, you know, very modern cities and uh, very uh, underdeveloped uh, or developing villages, let's say. So uh, we don't find that there's no giraffes in, in Brazil, but otherwise uh, many similarities. And what about digital literacy and uh, an awareness raising programs in areas such as cybersecurity and, and digital adoption? Well, in some areas, uh, that, that's asking to, way too much. But uh, when you, where you already have a heavy use, I, I think it's, it, it's one of our, uh, our uh, objectives. You know, it's something you have to do. You have to take care of that. Uh, I think education is, is really important. Uh, with this uh, development of this technology, life is going to be somewhat easier, but uh, somewhat more vulnerable. So we have to take due care with everything we do online, you know, as person, as businesses, and as government. So you're optimistic for the future in Brazil? 
I think we have to be optimistic, right? Uh, it's, it's the way to go about life. We have to be uh, optimistic and constructive. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we have to be very careful with the, you know, with the dangers uh, that, that these imply, that these things may imply, and uh, address them uh, adequately. I think that's a definitely a, a global challenge. In terms of uh, being here at ITU Telecom World, what's the value of you attending this event? Obviously, you've traveled a long way to be here. It's enormous because it, this challenge, since we're going to be connected, we're not going to be connected as a country or as a village. We're going to be connected as a globe. And uh, so uh, every country has to take due care and do its part. So it's more than sharing best practices. It's really collaborating and coordinating. This is an excellent venue for that. Andre Borges, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.